Hey everyone, what's up? So I was working on this project that required me to figure out which is the best large language model for content creation. Now, just like any other person, I went on to the LNSS leaderboard, looked at a few top models. Okay, like GPT-4 Turbo, Claude 3 Opus, Gemini, all of these are the top models right now. I studied their model cards, what companies are saying about these models, where they shine, how they're performing on the well-established benchmarks. And I compared them, I looked at their costs, et cetera, all of those things. And I figured out that, you know, I need a cheaper alternative. So I cannot probably go with GPT-4 Turbo because that will cost me more. I cannot go with the Claude 3 Opus because that is also very expensive. So I picked up a bunch of models and I ended up evaluating all of these models for my use case for content creation. So the four models that I wanted to evaluate were Llama 370 billion. Mixtral 8 by 7 billion, Gemini 1.5 Pro, and the last one was Claude 3 Sonnet. Okay, now I know that GPT-4 Turbo does really well and Claude 3 Opus does really well, but uh, there were other constraints like cost, how can I fine tune, how easily they are available, etc. all those things. Okay, so these are the four models that I wanted to evaluate for the task of content creation. Now, content creation in itself is huge. Okay, so I broke content creation down into five different use cases. The use cases are, first of all, blog writing, email writing, okay, content summarization, script writing, and copywriting, okay. And then further also, all of these use cases that I have just enlisted, these can be further broken down, you know, with respect to the process that people follow. For example, blog writing, first you create an outline, then you research, you, you know, refine your outline, your research, then you create version one, edit it, version two, final draft, version three, so on and so forth. So I've broken down each of these different use cases into process or different types of categories. For example, copywriting includes, you know, it could be SEO copywriting, website copywriting, advertisement copywriting. So all of these five use cases are further extended into different categories and there are in total 22 categories that I've created. Okay, so all the different 22 categories that we have, I'm gonna be evaluating these four models. Now to evaluate these four models across these 22 categories that we have, I had to create 22 creation prompts. The other challenge was how to evaluate. What is my evaluation framework? How did I go on to evaluate the responses? Okay. So the evaluation is done in two parts. The first part is going to be done by GPT-4 Turbo, which is the best. So I'm going to be using chat GPT, which by default uses GPT-4 Turbo. So I'm going to use GPT-4 Turbo as a judge. And I know that it might sound weird that you're using an LLM to evaluate another LLM's response. But uh, if you look at empty bench, you know, benchmarks, there are many other benchmarks which use uh, LLMs as their judge. So the first part of the evaluation is going to be done by GPT-4 Turbo and the second part is going to be done by me. The final score is going to come as an average of the two scores. Okay, now since I have five criteria to meet for each response, each criterion costs two points. Okay, now they could be partial marking depending upon how well uh, that particular criteria is met Okay, is this is the response uh, nailing the complete criteria, which is defined in one or two lines. So if it nails it, then you get two points. If it partially nails it, then you get one, 1 1.5, depending upon, you know, how much uh, you have covered. And if uh, that particular criteria is not met, then you get zero. So in total, for each evaluation, you get marks out of 10. Okay, so GPT is going to score out of 10 and I am also going to score out of 10 based on the quality, based on, you know, what I expected in that blog, in that email, in that copy. So then the final score comes out as the average of the two scores. So this is what I did for the evaluation frame framework. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So let's see how these models perform. First of all, blog writing. Okay, now as you see, in blog writing, Llama 370 billion. Okay, look at the GPT scores, a perfect 10 on 10 on all. My scores, I felt that 
outline was pretty great okay research uh, lama 3's capability to learn from reference text is great then version 1 version 2 i think uh, you know could have been a bit better so i scored 9 they were a bit verbose i felt but everything else was perfect okay so the attention to detail of lama 3 70 billion is is great it's uh, uh, you know fairly more nuanced as compared to other previous versions and then Mixtral, 8 by 7 billion, as I said, uh, not quite there. Claw 3 did really great. Gemini 1.5 Pro also did really, really well when it comes to outline creation, first version, second version, third version. And overall, if you look at the scores, so Llama 370 billion scored 48.5 out of 50 and was the winner for block writing. Okay. Then, now in email writing, again, Llama 370 billion did really really well now this category itself was a bit disappointing because uh, as per the modern practices and, and and what i really wanted to see in the emails and to some extent i would say that i didn't quite do a really great job with the prompts also so uh, but you know the case is that all the prompts are going to be the same for all the models so how the comparison will still be valid here I see Lama 370 billion again standing out, uh, scored 41.5 out of 50. And uh, a close next was uh, Sonnet. Sonnet also did really well. And then I think Mixtral uh, and Gemini, they were also, you know, quite close. So overall, I think Lama 370 billion did really well. So outperformed all the others. And these were uh, the response was concise with Lama 3. All the others were verbose and you know uh, redundant and too long. So that was the case with email writing. Coming to copywriting now, copywriting I felt was uh, something that uh, all the models did really well on. Okay, GPT scores Lama 3 again, you know, outperformed with the only the SEO copy was the case where it scored. 9 out of 10 other all the other copies were 10 on 10 and i also felt the same okay uh, these were pretty close uh, very good copies that were written by lama 370 billion and gemini also did really great when it comes to copy creation okay so gemini also stood out when it comes to copywriting and finally lama 370 billion the verdict for copywriting if you need a model that does well on copywriting i would say you know pick pick lama 370 billion and then whatever your use cases if you want to fine tune if you want to use it for rag etc all those things so i would you know personally uh, pick lama 370 billion and then gemini 1.5 pro is a close second then comes script writing now script writing was another use case where all the models did uh, fairly well uh, but lama 370 billion again outperformed uh, the other models I see, I see the attention to detail and how it structures the entire copy, the entire script, be it, you know, your television script, your commercial script, corporate script, the screenplays that uh, I asked Lama 3 to write, you see the response. I think uh, it's, it's really, really good. Uh, I think it's there. The first draft itself is there like 30 to 40 percent. Now, based on like 60 percent of the work is left where manual effort, you know, manual curation and all of those things are going to be required. But I think it does a pretty good job uh, as per the instructions that were provided in the prompt. So here again, Lama 370 billion uh, topped the charts for uh, script writing and in almost all the different categories here, as you can see. OK, so winner Lama 370 billion for script writing. So now let's come to the last use case. The last use case is content summarization. Content summarization, I had only two different categories. One was essay summarization and second one was research paper summarization as per the you know use case that I had. So I have seen that the Claude 3 family does really well with reference text uh, whenever you provide something to look up on. So they do really, really well. And uh, Claude 3 Sonnet performed really well on summarization. I also checked Claude 3 Opus for this particular task. And I was, uh, you know, uh, surprised to see the output. It is just too good. The way it has structured the entire summarization of the Bitcoin paper, uh, I think it's, it's pretty close to like... Uh, what I would personally give someone if they want to understand something, understand the entire Bitcoin paper and just quickly go through it uh, in a few minutes. So the structure was only provided by Claude 3 uh, 
none of the other models provided this sort of structure and uh, the logic uh, around it. But yeah, Claude 3, uh, Opus did really well. Sonnet was, you know, a close second here. Uh, and when it comes to the final results, here, Claude 3 Sonnet and Gemini 1.5 Pro, both of them did really well. Surprisingly, Lama 370 billion did not do really well on the summarization task. So that was one, uh, I would say, uh, observation that I had about Lama 370 billion. Not sure how well it does on uh, summarization task. Now, overall, if you see, the final scores look something like this, with a total score of 199.5 out of 220. The winner of this evaluation for content creation, the best model for content creation is Lama 3 70 billion with a score of 199.5 out of 220. Then we have Gemini 1.5 Pro, the first runner up with a score of 194, which does really well on summarization and script writing tasks. The second runner up, Claude 3 Sonnet scored 191.25, does well on summarization and script writing again. And then Mixtral 8 by 7 billion, I felt was a bit out of place. So uh, I, I don't know if I should comment, but yeah, uh, the third runner up was Mixtral 8 by 7 billion. Now I know there could be multiple other models in the, you know, which could have done better, but there were other constraints also that I had. But again, if you think that uh, you have a better model, uh, which would do really, really well on any of these categories, any of these use cases, do let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you like the video, please uh, tell me in the comments if I should create such comparisons, such reviews of different other frameworks and uh, different architectures, different cloud platforms here. Do let me know. Uh, and then, yeah, there will be other tutorials and other videos that will uh, soon show up in your feed as promised earlier. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep learning, keep building.